All right, so let's go in here and um, start to style our game stoop. Well, this is gonna be my initial web portfolio page, and then I'm gonna create a navigation bar with a link. Uh, there's a couple things we need. We definitely need a meta, uh, meta viewport tag. And so what this is for is making sure that the, the um, width and height of our viewport, that's this thing that we're looking in right now, is actually, um, the same across multiple devices. So we want it to the width to equal the device's width. So it's going to stretch it out. Another thing is we want the essentially the objects and the the pixel size to be the same across multiple viewports. So what, what I'm going to do here is it says width equals device width. The initial scale of those elements. Let's actually close this off. So the initial um, scale of all of those items are equal to one. And the last thing we need to do is make sure that the name that we're looking for is viewport here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So looks pretty good. We're matching the device width and initial scale and then the name of the viewport, good. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at something else. Now, in essentially in HTML, they have this box model where everything sort of shows up as a uh, all of these elements end up in a box. So let's add some CSS to make sure that we're using we're setting our box size. So as we scale up and down our web browser, the all of these head elements scale with it. Okay, or this these HTML elements scale with it. So inside of here, I'm going to make a new folder, and uh, inside this folder, I'm going to call it CSS lowercase. And I want to make sure that I'm clicking outside of here when I make another folder, and I'm going to just call this images. Now in the CSS folder, I'm going to right click and make a new file, or you can click that button, and I'm just going to call this style.css. Now the way I want to style this is anything that's within this HTML section, I want it to do something, right? So the way you do that is you just write HTML, open and close curly braces. and when you type in the word box, you get all of these different things. And the model that we were talking about is called box sizing. So if we click on box sizing, and you see it'll give you a bunch of stuff, border box, content box, all this good stuff. What we're saying here is we want all of the box sizing to be to uh, scale independently. So when we click on border box here, we're saying that each HTML element within that, we're going to have a box size. Now there's a lot of hidden stuff inside of our HTML um, that we don't see that comes before and after and within the HTML page. So we're going to set up another HTML set of HTML tags um, that will set it to initial. That means, um, or it'll initialize everything to border box. So I'm going to do asterisk here, and then I'm going to do comma, and then what I want to do here is another asterisk. And if I start typing before, you'll see we have this before here and then initial asterisk after. And so what we're saying here is anything before or after is going to have the same um, box sizing. And what we're doing here is we're going to do box sizing initial. So now when I save this, all of the HTML sizing is going to be set up in these little boxes that we can control. Another thing we want to do is control the scaling of our images. So let's say, for example, um, I, I I, this first page is just going to be a splash screen. Instead of saying, I hope you enjoy your stay, um, let's go ahead and just shrink this down a little bit here inside of our paragraph tag. Well, yeah, let's leave it. That's kind of a nice message. I'm just going to create a H2 tag. Now, we should style our images within a container, but right now, for the sake of just sort of showing you this demo, we're going to eventually add another tag or container within that. I'm just going to type my name, Alex. And then right here is where I want to just insert an image. So I can just do image here and I can close this up. And I should add, what's really good to do is usually just have an alternate ID in case the link is broken. Or, you know, sometimes these these readers um, that are for, uh, so like these blind readers that'll read stuff on the page, you would usually put a picture, you know, some sort of description here to help them out and just say, you know, an image of the portfolio owner, Alex. And then after this, we can just really just put in a link to where we want our images to be. 
So we don't have any images yet, but I know it's going to be contained within this images folder. So I'm going to type images here equals and then a set of quotes there. Now inside this, oh, I'm sorry, not images there. Sorry, let me cut that. Source. Um, and then inside this folder, I'm just going to do images forward slash. And I'm going to, I have a picture on my desktop that I downloaded, uh, which is a lie. Let me go ahead and download a picture. All right, so now you can see I have this picture just sort of on our website looks like this, or I'm sorry, on my desktop. So if I drag this into the images folder here, you can see it made a copy. Now, if that doesn't work for you for some reason, you can right click and you can go reveal in file explorer. And then it'll take you to a temp directory that has all of your project files. And you can see here's my Alex image. I'm going to do file and I want to do um, save. But I also want to right click in here just to show you some options. If you want to delete something, you don't necessarily, you don't want to use the like if I want to delete this CSS folder, you don't want to use this delete. You want to use this delete, which recursively deletes it from the server itself. So if you want to double check, see how you have Control Shift S. It says FTP simple, save upload to FTP server. I like to click that ever so often. And it says CSS, including the selected directory. So if, if you notice that it stops uploading, um, that one way to do it is to check if it's even saving. So I'm going to save all of that. Now let's jump back to our browser. And I'm already in my Infinity Free. So let's check this to see if it even ran that code. So I'm going to copy that link from here. I'm going to paste it. And it looks like it did upload, which is great. And so if I go to my um, file manager here, you can see that uh, sure enough, it did upload it. Now, sometimes you're going to get a socket error or whatever. And that's because it doesn't like too many incoming connections. So make a decision to really focus on either working out of this or your file manager here, because there could be a disconnect. Um, but if we look at this, I want to show you kind of what I was talking about. Do you notice how, as I'm moving this, it cuts off my image, cuts off that corner. I want all of the images on my page to rescale sequentially. That means, or rescale together. And I don't want them to be sort of cut off like that. And so another good first step for styling inside of the CSS is we set up an image um, a way to control all of the images across. So you probably guessed it. The way that you access all image elements is you just write IMG. And then inside of this, we want to do max dot dash and then width. And all we do is 100. And let's throw a percent symbol on there. I never had an issue with just typing 100, but it could be it's fixing it for me. But this is the proper way to do it. Now, if we go back to our page, and I refresh this. Uh, let's see, it looks like it broke the link. Let's see, what did I do wrong? Oh, you can see here that I forgot to even type in the name of my image. So Alex dot and then JPEG. So I'm going to save that off, which is kind of interesting that it even ran it. But uh, so now when I refresh it, there's my image again. And as I scale this out, let's make sure that this is updating too. It looks like it might need a second. Let's see. Here's my images. There it is. Let's take a look at our index here. There we go, and looks pretty good. Let's go back and take a look at our CSS. No, that looks like it all updated. So you probably guessed what I messed up on. I forgot to actually uh, make an external link to my style CSS page. So let's link that up. So above the meta here, because I like to keep my meta tags essentially really all together. So I would probably put my UTF and all the other stuff below this. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and write link. And what I'm linking to is a style sheet. And the href of that style sheet is style dot CSS 
And um, let's see, what else should we kind of put in here? We should tell it the type, which equals text slash CSS. And let's save this, hopefully without this bit there. Now, let's see if I refresh this and I scale this, if it updated fast enough. Make sure that this saved. Oh, another simple error. It's inside of a CSS folder. So today I'm all full of these errors. There we go. So we know it's linked in. So I'm going to save that. And now when I jump back in here through the magic of television, hopefully this should all work. There we go. Now it's finally scaling down. So Took a, took a few tries, but we got that to go, and we're starting to style our page.